yo yo what's up guys welcome back to another productive day as a software engineer if you're new to the channel i'm building a ai pomodoro timer to help you guys focus and reach your goals this morning i've already put in quite a bit of work i'm launching the app on ios up till now it's just been a web app uh, but we're in the app store now it's actually in there right now but the login was messed up so i had to fix that and then that's getting reviewed so i will let you guys know on instagram when that's fully ready but it's called boost focus timer and then another thing i did this morning is basically you can enter a focus goal to start the focus session so it's the focus goal is what you're going to work on in that focus session and it uses ai to auto tag the focus session so if you're like working on math it will tag it with studying or if you're working on python it will tag it with coding so that way you can see how much you're how much time you're spending on what so this morning i worked on that tags thing a little bit so that you can change the colors and edit the names and then also updated the analytics so that you can specify what you want to see on the analytics breakdown so for example right here i can see how much time I'm spending on content creation versus versus developing the app. And this is just the past two days because this feature's only been out for a couple days. Normally it's like a little bit more equal. But yeah, and then like it auto tags it with iOS development, mobile development, uh, however you want to break it down, you can add those tags. But yeah, so that's a little bit about what I got done today. I'm also going to make some content and I'm going to update the agent so it has context of the tags and generally just gonna have a productive day. So let's get it. By the way, I hope you guys are having a productive day as well. Let's get it. So I just did a pretty big update to the AI agent in the AI Pomodoro timer. I was reading through this article. Actually, I didn't read it. I just copied and pasted it into the context of the agent in cursor. But what this is, is about context engineering. So you've probably heard of prompt engineering. Uh, context engineering is similar, but it's basically like, what is all the information that the agent has access to in its context? And so before, this is how the agent worked. It would get all the goals, to-dos, habits, focus sessions, principles, values, about me page, sent with the message every time you send a new message. So I was just adding all the context with every message. And you know that works for a little bit, but basically it's like a context overload for the agent. And so I switched it to a different model, which is the agent now has a bunch of tools to go and fetch the relevant context, whether that's goals or focus sessions or to-dos. 
So it has a bunch of tools to go get those. And it also has agent memory, uh, just in case you want to like say what your preferences are, or anything like that. So those two little bits of updates to the agent. Also, I made it so that the agent can manage your uh, habits and goals and uh, focus session history. Uh, before it was just able to manage your to-dos, like add new to-dos and delete them and edit them. But yeah, now it can edit pretty much all the goal related stuff. So yeah, it's been really fun learning about uh, how to kind of optimi optimize the agent so it can do more stuff. Also, I spent like <laughs> 30 minutes trying to get the time zone thing to work. Like one thing about agents is that they don't know what time it is and what the date is all the time. No pun intended. And I was just running into time zone issues, which funny thing, <laughs> when I first started software engineering, when I first started learning to code, I was like, man, if I ever, like, I'm just, if I ever have to deal with time zone issues, I'm just not going to do that. I'm just like not going to work in a field where you have to do a lot of time zone stuff. And that is not the case at all. Every software engineering thing, you always have to run, you always run into time zone issues. Uh, so there's no way, there's no way to get around that, but yep. Anyways, fix that. Move past that. Next up on the docket, I just had breakfast. Uh, I got to make some content to basically every time I make an update to the app, I post an update on Instagram. Uh, so I got to make a reel and TikTok and YouTube shorts. Uh, by the way, thank you guys so much for watching. Speaking of content, uh, if you're not subscribed, subscribe. Uh, it's my birthday as you saw.